G'day everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craft by Tim. So today, we are going to be making a nice little sheath, leather sheath, with this knife that I finished up in a previous episode. This is called the Jam Knife. Really, really happy with the way that it turned out, so I wanted to make sure that it had a nice sheath to help present it. 15 and 20 blade, brass bolster, black and red G10 spaces, and a nice jam wood handle made from a 100 year old Australian fence post. So in front of me I have the design for our sheath. We're going to have one piece of leather that's going to be the outside of the sheath, a piece of leather that's going to be a clip to hold the knife in place, and that's just going to wrap around the handle there, and then we have a piece of uh, leather that's going to be a band to actually hold your belt, and then a welt as well. The blade isn't going to move around or specifically cut the uh, the threads that run down the side. Let's jump in. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out.
pretty well concludes the end of this video. I'm actually really, really happy with the way that this turned out, especially the texturing. Sort of looks like reptile skin. It's really cool. Um, so overall, very happy with the way that it turned out. You'll notice that the uh, the belt loop has changed shape a little bit uh, and width. That's basically because the previous one just wasn't quite wide enough. So now I've got the, sort of this um, a more of an angled and much wider web and that basically just allows it to hang on to the belt a lot easier uh, as you can see holds the knife in place very well and not very cumbersome to actually take it out though which is really nice so overall i'm actually really happy with the way that this turned out and because there's nothing like super specific about it you can keep it holstered either way like You'll be able to open it from either side. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with the way that this turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little bit shorter and it might not actually come out on time. There's a bunch of things going on right now, but I've, I am getting back on track. So hopefully I'll be back to making regular content in the not too distant future. And I've got a really, really cool build coming up in the not too distant future, probably next week but possibly the week after i have no idea it's it's going to be a very technical project though but i'm super excited about it anyway um yeah so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next one uh in the meantime do remember to stay safe happy crafting and today i'm actually gonna i'm gonna leave you with something a little bit different i'm gonna leave you with a reenactment of something that happened recently to me uh when i woke up so yeah Cheers. Good morning, Shed. Morning. <sighs> G'day, everybody. You ever just wake up some mornings just feeling really sore? Oh, yeah, bro, that's real funny. It's not as if I've never heard that one before. Is he always like this? Yeah, bro, but you're probably just going to get used to it.